Hi! Welcome to my tube. My name's March. <laughs> I'm an empath. Intuitive. Helga Wise Cloud. Anywho, I wasn't gonna do a, a video today until <laughs> I listened to Ramblin' Mike. Is that his name? Ramblin' Mike's Tarot. He's a good old boy. He makes my he makes me smile. He feels good. He's a nice, safe place. I feel comfortable with his readings. I'm not reading a lot of them. We got up. Uh, there's all this talk about this same flame journey. Twin flame. I, twin flame. I like same flame. Same flame. This energetic match. And that was part of my journey. It's my story. It's all of our story. If you choose it, if you look at it, and it makes sense to you. And if you start finding facts and they start lining up, oh yeah, okay. Well, I resonate with that storyline too. The only thing is, is I was for sure it was just this one person. But what I've since opened myself up, I've expanded, evolved, changed my mind. You see... I have never met somebody exactly like me, like an energetic match. Now there was a lot of dissidence in me because I had a lot of dis-ease within myself. I had a lot of demons. I drank a lot for a lot of years. I freaking went into the darkness with those demons and, well, I made some amends to them and they made some amends to me and we're even keel now. It's just part of ego. It's all that it is. How we keep ourselves small from the protection of emotions, feelings. So many that feel good. Yeah. It's weird how we do that. Human beings. Animals don't do that. Animals don't kill each other. The majority of animals. Every now and again, when you get, you get, uh, anything can get its wires crossed. Every not, you know, but majority, they don't kill for no reason. They don't kill just to murder like human beings do. They don't. Anyway, so what I've come to find out in the last few years, as hard as they've been, is that I came in alignment with me. I became balanced. I did. I think it's really kind of funny when people see me as unbalanced. Because how people see you is a reflection of how of of them, not you. So when people are like, "Oh man, she's crazy," I'm just like, "But I'm not really, you know, because I'm really not." <laughs> Trust me, I've been tested. I, re I I I can relate to. Actually, Sheldon never was actually tested, but I was tested a lot by a lot of people. I'd have the gun it because I always was different. Is because I always responded to people's energetic vibrations and not the words they were saying. And well, people don't like that. They they think of it as an invasion of privacy, but they don't understand. Is <laughs> my privacy was invaded when I was 11 months old. So what's privacy to me? There's different levels. Now privacy is intimacy. And you can have it with anyone. Into me, I see you. And we're the same. Yeah. So when I see people that are just freaking jerk faces, I recall when I was a jerk face like them. And I recall how much pain I was feeling at that time from be acting out that way. Then I recognize that they're in pain too. And if two people recognized that pain in each other, maybe sorted that stuff out, then maybe there would be less disdain in the world. Who knows? Just a thought. Don't know. But see, there's no profit from that. Who's to profit? Who's going to make money from people just getting along? Who? Huh? People need to go back to... There was a time on this planet that... I mean, there's always been, like, you know, an exchange of energy, you know, goods, services, things like that. But this greed thing has gotten terribly, terribly out of hand. It's gotten terribly out of hand. The idea that people are worth, some people think that they are worth more than others. You know? It's so funny, it's like, you have, I was like, I was watching this article, this is, this is, I'm gonna go off on a little tangent here, but how, uh, Breaking Bad, how 
<laughs> Jesse wasn't going to be a main, he wasn't supposed to be a main character or something. And, um, uh, and I was thinking about meth heads and I've known a lot of meth heads and I've never, I just, you know, and that just, it's a vibration of personal vibration that I do not, I just stay away from it. You know, like that synthetic buzz that people go for is nothing that I have any interest. I don't, they're, so I like meth heads, right? You have the, 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 the cranksters and all those guys, right? They're no different to me than the soccer moms that are popping Adderall like candy. They're the same to me. They look the same. Yeah, you have caps on your teeth and you drive a freaking $47,000 SUV or whatever, you know, but fast forward, that's, you're no different. You know, and when, I don't know, it's just weird. We're coming out of Scorpio season. A lot of people that have had trouble with alcohol and stuff like that dance with that devil again. Thank God I missed that do -si do I sat that one out, but a lot of these energies that are have had kept people in a grip for however long, de depending on where your, your placements are in your chart, it's releasing hold. It is finally releasing hold. Absolutely. Yeah. More people are going to start just cooperating in the freaking... And my favorite part that I'm seeing is that people are standing up for what they believe in. They're saying no. No more. What is it? I'm not big on politics, but I think it was the Senate voted to freaking withdraw from freaking backing up that, that those freaking jerk faces for they're leaving Yemen. Yeah, you had no business being there. <laughs> Wars are fake, dude. Money should never matter more than human life. And it has for entirely too long. So all the people that it have been making sure that that has been the reality of our world, nah, their real world is quickly falling down. Timber! It's beautiful to watch. People are standing up for justice. I'm doing it. I'm standing out. I hate grammar, but I'm, I'm going to learn how to write letters speak out for you know and do it in a silver manner I don't like getting loud I don't like getting mad I don't like it for some reason I have triggered people my whole entire life I don't know if if I remind them of maybe a time that somebody took advantage of them so they want to do it to me but for whatever reason people have always used me for some kind of tool or stepping stone to make them feel bigger. But the thing of it is, is what they don't understand is if we work together, we can make each, make each other bigger. See, I don't like people that have to take things from people. When you got to take things from other people, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be attention. It could be stuff. It could be their good mood by just being mean to them or bullying them but would you feel that you need to take anything from anybody else well you're a predator yeah see and people are like predator they think sexual predator well there's all kinds of predators and they're all equally evil yeah they are because you're taking and we always become more of where we are so you start taking a little bit that's why that's happening on the main stage today is people or just, you know, they just quietly let people do stuff like, wow, you know, can you, this guy is like using the freaking plane to go on a lot of vacations. Maybe you shouldn't be doing that. But, but this guy's like, well, I'm, you know, I'm the boss and I can do what I want. And I just fight in this way and this way and I'm lying and blah, 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 all this, right? But what finally happens is these people really start to get together and they start talking. And they're like, no, this is not right. Or he just is freaking talk to the wrong person wrong. And they're like, nope, this is wrong. And then you channel it all the way up. <clears throat> it's interesting. People are stepping into their truth. Because you don't have to be big, badass, freaking, freaking bodybuilder, stud, you know, this a huge... You don't have to be a huge person to stand in your power. I am small in stature. Five, three, and three quarter, but my spine, I have deteriorated arthritis in my spine, and the last time I measured, I lost an inch. I'm only 44. But I figure if I get out more... <laughs> Anyway, that's another story, but, um, oh, I'm only small in stature, but so people are standing up and just, just say, no, that's wrong, and no, don't be mean, and no, 
that hurts my feelings. And, and they're just, you know, you don't have to be big. You don't have to be big to do that. And just know that the universe will support you in standing in your truth. Yeah. I mean, I, even when I'm out, you know, I mean, I've had guys like freaking grown ass freaking men like in the last year, like, freaking want to fight me. It's freaking hilarious, dude. Like, dude, if you want to tumble around with a 44 year old woman and be known as the freaking guy who wrestled around with a 44 year old, the freaking. <laughs> and I'm the weird one? I don't want to, but I'll defend myself. I will always defend myself. I don't care how old I am. And I've always had to. That's the thing. My brother's like, well, he always had kind of a perception problem. And I'm like, people have always treated me fucking badly. <laughs> Even you did when we were kids. You know that. So why do you think that someone related to me is going to think that they're different than, you know, anybody outside my family? I'm used to it. That's what empaths are. I mean, I made that all weird. Anyway, I'm going to go. I just wanted to pop in and say, hey, <laughs> hope you're having a rad day. Peace.